file sequencing is really easy, right? You can take a MinIron, a laptop out in the field and sequence any kind of sample you want. And all of the tools um, that the teams that you've heard from today make, make it really easy to get the most out of your nanopore sequencing data. And we really want to carry on that with Epitome and make bioinformatics really easy for you to use. We know that it can be time consuming. It can be hard to find the right tools. You want to know how to analyze the data yourselves and apply um, uh, good analysis to find answers to your biological questions. And you're often dealing with poorly maintained tools and a lack of support. So the Epitome team is here to offer you time efficient solutions where we give you pre-configured workflows, guidance in finding the best tools. Our apps team are benchmarking all of the tools available all of the time so that we apply the state of the art to our analysis workflows. We want to give you full ownership, matching your level of expertise. That means that we want to give you applications where you can use point and click interfaces and also command line tools if that's what you're comfortable with. We want to give you the confidence that we're here to support these tools and that they're going to be well maintained. The group is really focused at the moment on usability and making sure you have the best experience possible. So we've come a long way in the last couple of years since I joined Nanopore. We started out with an application that used Jupyter Notebooks to do analysis, and it was kind of clunky. And now the team has worked really hard um, under the supervision of Tom Rich and, and Chris Wright to produce this beautiful application um, called Epitome. This works on all popular desktop platforms. On Mac OS, that includes the new Apple Silicon, much like our base callers. Um, it runs on Windows and Ubuntu. We're also making sure that all of our workflows are optimized to run on ARM as well. So we're ensuring we can build bioinformatics tools for this platform so that you can analyze your data as fast as possible on the newest Macs. So we want to make analysis easy for anyone. And we're doing that by providing you with different options. We have our epitome solution to run on desktop. We also have all of our research tools that have been talked about today on GitHub and also on the Epitome Workflows GitHub. You can download those and run those on the command line, or you can use our application and run bioinformatics um, at the click of a button. So we're also upgrading our website. This is coming next year. It'll have all the old blog information on there, just much easier to find. We really um, enjoy creating blog posts on how to get the best out of your nanopore sequencing data, so that, that will continue. Over the last few weeks, we've been upgrading all our workflows so that the documentation is easier to use and standardizing the terminology that we use across those workflows. We are also um, adding requirements so it's very clear what kind of computer you would need to run these analyses. So we want you to be able to analyze any na kind of nanopore sequencing data. So we produce a catalog of common analyses for different ONT data types. That includes our large, work, large workflows like human variation, which includes uh, ModKit, which you heard about earlier, to call modifications and summarize those. Um, somatic variation to our RNA sequencing workflows. Um, we also include lots of workflows for infectious diseases and uh, microbiology. We're mirroring the changes in our base caller to output unmapped BAM files. So we're allowing all our workflows to ingress BAM files, um, and that works continuing as we speak. We produce really detailed reports. So these HTML reports go through multiple rounds of revision to give you either a guidance on how to ask, uh, answer questions you have about your data or to give you answers, like this report here from Bacterial Genomes, where you can see the antimicrobial resistance profile. We also produce all of the outputs you would expect from a bioinformatics analysis tool that adhere to community standards, as well as useful summaries you can use in uh, downstream analysis um, applications. Our latest workflow, workflow AAVQC, allows you to take your adeno-associated associated vector sequencing data and analyze this to get you lots of information on how well your uh, vectors have been constructed. So we take your nanopore sequencing reads. We have an ITR mass combined reference. We align with Minimap2. And then we carry out some custom analysis to produce a QC report you can use in your um, biologics production. So finally, we want to, uh, you to be able to run your analysis anywhere. And we know that you can't run everything locally. It's hard to run a human genome on a small laptop. And so we're bringing back cloud with Epitome desktop. Um, we're integrating this into the application um, using a cloud backend. So what happens is our application talks to this broker. 
it can execute workflows in AWS in this analysis stack. So every user gets their own analysis stack, which includes compute and storage. And that storage and that compute is encrypted and isolated, and, and so it's safe to use. The cloud backend brings your data back, and you'll display your report on your desktop. This is really, really easy to use. So when you select a workflow in Epitome, you'll get the option to run it in the cloud or run it locally. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo of Epitome. Um, so I produced a little video. So here's the application. You can view all of the different workflows we have available. We have around 20 of these now. And we've been focusing on usability. So we're going to start increasing our catalog of workflows next year. Here I'll select workflow flu and use some demo data. This is a really nice way to see what types of files and analysis the workflow does before you invest the time in maybe running your own data. And I've actually launched this one in the cloud. So you get an overview of the running, and you also get the logs. I'm going to look at some other workflows now, um, specifically Workflow Arctic for SARS-CoV-2 um, lineage identification. And I'm going to run this locally on my computer. I'm selecting some FASTQ files. I open them. And then there are other options you can provide um, if you would like to customize your analysis. We, we set sensible defaults, but we allow power users to be able to customize the analysis to their needs. Click Launch, and it will take you through um, a SARS-CoV-2 analysis. So I've, I've pre-prepared some data from our flu workflow. Um, so here, this workflow completed successfully. Here are the outputs available. And then you can see the sequencing report, which gives you the type of flu detected. So we're working towards a unified epitome experience. And by early 2024, we want Epitome Labs, which was the old name, to become Epitome. And this is going to execute workflows in the cloud and locally on your devices. So I'm going to change tact a bit now and give you a little bit of a sneak preview of what we think the future is of Epitome style analysis. Um, in, in helping you enable end-to-end -end workflows, taking you from sample to a result with very little interaction. So this is our desktop application. I've shown you this a lot today. But if you look behind the scenes, we've been building a tool called Reception. This is a workflow broker that, that we can install on our devices and allow a client like Minnow to talk to our workflows. So Reception allows Minnow and other clients to start our next flow workflows, ask questions about the progress, receive output data and reports so that the client can display those reports in the user interface. And this can be installed on our devices like our Gridiron or devices that are in um, development like Turbot. And one, one of these applications that I'm really excited about, uh, about is Ampore TB. Uh, my team has been working really hard on this for the last two years, and we're expecting a research use only release in Q2 2024. This is a test for antimicrobial resistance in tuberculosis. So you take a sample from a patient, a sputum sample, um, that you know a, a positive patient that has tuberculosis. You sequence a targeted set of genes in the um, TB genome, and you compare variants that you find in this data to this antimicrobial resistance database from the World Health Organization. What's really nice is once you've loaded the sample on the gridiron, you can select Go, and it will take you all the way through to a sequencing report and an antimicrobial resistance profile. It's also really nice that this runs on device and doesn't require cloud, which is really important in low to middle income countries where TB is prevalent, because cloud access and upload speeds are often prohibitive. So we're really excited about Ampore TB and um, its release next year. We're also enabling integrations um, with third parties. So this really helps you get the most of your, out of your nanopore sequencing data. So for example, if you take the human variation workflow, it does a very, very deep analysis of all the different types of variation, including methylation, copy number variants, short tandem repeats, SMVs, SVs, and indels. You can visualize these results, but often the data is quite raw. And to make an interpretation, you need more information. So we want to add annotation to that data. And it's like baking a cake, right? The more layers of a cake you've got, the more filling you've got, and the more delicious that cake is. This is the same with annotation. It's a very tenuous link. Uh, it's the same with annotation. So you want to add more and more annotation to your data as possible. More databases that you can add means it's easier to uh, interpret your result. 
And so we're partnering with tertiary analysis providers, and this is coming in Q1 2024. So after human variation has been executed, you're able to upload your VCF files to GenX, Fabric, or Varsome to do a full um, tertiary analysis. So as always, Epitome is free to uh, download. You can download it um, at this link and try it out on your own data. So thank you for listening, everybody.